Hey guys, so we are at a different spot tonight. We have hunted this spot um, a lot, just not this season. We have to wait till it gets colder because it has a lot of snakes and bears. Yeah, it's got a lot of bears in it. All right. Um, do you want to tell us, everyone a little bit about the spot, Dustin? Um, yeah, this is a section of game land that's over on White Oak Mountain on the front side of the mountain that our kennel is named after, Skyuka Mountain. So this is the front side of the mountain. This is White Oak Mountain. So we're going to try it tonight. I ain't tried it in, I don't know, since last coon season. So Yeah. And we've got some coons off here. So hopefully we can get one tonight. We only have Ranger with us because Annie is still in heat and I decided to leave her at home. We're possibly going to make a few drops tonight. Yep. So let's go get them started. Someone's ready to go. Alright, we're gonna walk to where we're gonna dump him out at. And we'll get back to y'all when we're dumping him out. Hey guys, so um, we lost Stranger and Dustin's on the phone trying to fix it. Uh. Okay guys, so our current situation is still, it dropped at like 100, was it 142 or 144? 140 what? 142 yards. We have no clue where the dog's at, so we're walking trying to see if we can hear him. This mountain is pretty large and sometimes if he goes on the back side of it or to the very tippy top, then we cannot hear him very well, even though he is loud. So far we haven't heard anything, but um, we're going to hunt with the Garmin if we have to hunt the rest of the night because um, we've got to get this fixed. You hear him? So that's our current situation. Hopefully we can find him in all as well. Um, but, yeah. Never a good feeling when the collar drops or gets out of range. Is that him? Huh? Alright, we're gonna see if that's him or not. Hey guys, so uh, we're still walking the ranger. Our current situation now is we hear him, but like I said, he is a long ways up this mountain. So we're trying to go get him. Hopefully he keeps stays put. He keeps and stays put on the prairie, so we can actually get to him. Um, this is kind of the old-fashioned way, but it works. So, let's see if we can get to him. So, we finally got him back, and luckily Ranger listens to the tone. Um, so Dustin telling him back, and we're unsure if we're going to turn out again tonight. Like I said, it will be with a different system because, um, I just don't like losing dogs because the tracking system went out. So, we'll see what we're doing. Fortunately, no coon, but at least we got him back.
He did a really good job listening to the tolling, and um, Dustin did a good job teaching him to come back to the tolling. My girls somewhat listened to it as well, so that's really good. I'm glad you're back, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What are we going to do? We're going to put your garment on them and go to Green Creek. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good boy. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, so we're in Green Creek in one of my very favorite spots um, to hunt at. Dustin got this spot last coon season, um, and we hunt here a good deal. Um, yeah, so we're fixing to cut Ranger loose. Got everything situated. We are actually going to turn him right up this man's driveway. We've actually treed a coon right off the driveway, like two steps off the driveway, and a giant tree before. So, like, hunting in this spot is a walk in the park. Like, it is awesome. Here you go, Bubba. Here you go. All right, Dustin's going to get his collar on, and then we're going to go cut him loose. If y'all hear that over there, it's a cow. So, this video is approved by the cows. Dustin had to redirect me because I was wanting to play with the cows while he was getting ready. Alright. You ready to cut him? Yeah. I've got the video rolling. Okay guys, so Ranger just started striking. So we are currently waiting for that, um, for him to sit down a tree. The cows are still pretty agitated at us for disturbing their night, but. Where's he at? 150? That's not a bad walk where it's kind of flat. I'm currently sitting on a lovely driveway. I like the driveway and we've actually treed a coon right down there before in one of those trees. I think it was that one actually. And I have a coon, I, I have a video of him treeing. Um, I think it's, it was the possum in the bottom and the coon in the top. Or vice versa. Something like that. But there was a coon and a possum on the same tree. So. We're just waiting for him to sit down so we can go to him. Hopefully we'll get one shot out tonight. I'm really hoping that we do. Um, Comment if you're liking this solo video of Ranger... Um, hunting by himself, we're going to try and start getting solo videos of him and Annie going by themselves. Annie needs hunting some by herself. She knows what she's doing with Ranger, but I also want to make sure she's good by herself as well. Alright, we're going to let him sit there and work it out. Dustin um, likes to make him sit down in tree a lot. I don't know if y'all like to make him sit down in tree for a while. Just everyone has different preferences. Comment what um, about how long you make him sit there in tree really hard for. 
before you start walking in. Do you have anything to say? What? I hope so. All right. So Dustin told me to come on. Where's he doing now? Where's he at? Third and fifty four yards. He has a green one. This is Ranger, obviously. He's very unsure of um this track. When Ranger's really sure of it, he trees really hard, but but when he's very unsure of it, he's like mm, I don't know. He came off of it, came back to us and went back to it. So we were gonna walk in, but I don't know. Are we gonna make him sit there for a minute? It's really cold out here. How cold do you reckon it is? Thirty. It's about thirty out here, so what do you wanna do? Well, yeah, you sit down. Okay. So we're gonna see if he's gonna sit down and then we'll get back to y'all. Okay guys, so we are currently taking him somewhere else to be dropped out. Oh. He kept coming back to us, so we're just going to take him somewhere else on the other side of this property and drop him out. Alright. Okay guys, we're in our new spot and we just unloaded Ranger out of the box and we're gonna walk to where we're gonna cut him loose at. This was about the same place in the last video we sent him in, so. We've had good and bad luck in this spot, so here we go. Hey guys, so we walked 500 and some yards in, and it's looking like it's hollow. Um, this is our current situation, it's kind of a mess. So, yeah, good boy. Mm. Oh, no, no, he's already fell off this little thing that we've stand we're standing on and he was trying to knock me off. He has a little tree hogging dog. Is it hollow? I swear there's a hole right there, but I can't get over there to see. Stop. Ranger. He had his paw on my shoulder, because apparently I'm a tree now. Hmm. Glad to know that. Okay. I'm gonna try crossing here. Without falling in. I did it! I'm thinking the hole is like right in there somewhere. Possibly. I don't know. 
I'm gonna try and get over there and we'll get back to y'all. Hey guys, so we haven't found the coon. I'm like 90% sure I think it's hollow. I mean, I haven't seen a definite hole, but I'm pretty sure I think it's hollow. I think it's like right up there somewhere or either at the bottom. <sighs> He seems pretty sure of himself, so um, Dustin's going to continue to look, but I think this is a hopeless cause on this tree. He's really funny. When you blow the coon squalor, he just looks at you and is like, what are you doing? All right, we'll t we'll get back with y'all when we head to the truck, or get at the truck. Oh, that's what he did a while ago. <laughs> we'll talk to y'all when we get the truck. Dustin just toned Ranger off the tree. I was trying to get him more at the beginning, but he literally just come off the tree that he was training that hard on to come back to tall. He is doing wonderful. Good job, buddy. Hey guys, so um, the tree was hollow. That's why we didn't get the coon. So we're loading up. Um, this was our third and final drop of the night. And um, we're going to get food now. Good boy. All right, is there anything you would like to say, Dustin? Yeah, it's been a full moon night. The coon got back to the tree, back to the den before we could a rancher could get him treated, so hopefully this full moon will go away and we can get one treated in. But keep him in the woods.